Hey guys, I'm back today with another meatless recipe. Today I'm making a Mediterranean rice, very much like an antipasto rice with roasted red peppers, onion, artichoke hearts, olives, vegetable stock, a little white wine, shh, don't tell anybody, um, stock, basil, oregano, which is happens to be my least favorite spice, but it's in a lot of Mediterranean cooking, so I'm just gonna add a little sprinkle and a bay leaf, and that's about all the ingredients. It's really pretty simple. I'm using this rice cooker here. If you don't have one, you can use a regular covered pot. Works just fine. And also substitute brown rice if you don't. I'm using a white basmati rice because that happens to be my favorite. I love the nutty flavor of basmati, but you can find brown as well. So let's get started. So I have one cup of rice. That's all you need because it will double in size. Stick it right in the pan. Now, anytime you make rice, you will always use double the liquid than the rice. It's always going to be two to one. So I have two. I'm going to put two cups of liquid. This is one cup of veggie stock. Make sure you get the one that, you know, has no MSG. But I only, I only have one cup measure, so I'm doing one cup of this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm only going to do three quarters of a cup because I'm going to use some wine, like I said. So three quarters of a cup more. And then a quarter cup of white wine. Use whatever your favorite wine is. I mean, technically, they say you should always cook with a wine that you would actually drink. It doesn't have to be expensive, but you don't want to get it with the vinegars. You want to get it in the wine section. So sometimes they have these little bottles and I pick up a four pack solely just for cooking. So let me just fill it up to a quarter. And now we have our two cups of liquid. The rest of the recipe is literally just dumping other things in with it that's gonna cook with the rice, flavor the rice, and make it nice and yummy. Now I have already chopped here. Let's see if I can pick this up. A small white onion. And I cut it pretty fine. This is roasted red peppers. You need about a seven ounce jar. If they only have a large jar, just take out like, let's say three big peppers worth and you wanna chop it up bigger than the onion. And artichoke hearts, canned whole artichoke hearts. I'm not using the entire can. This is just your preference, how much you like. But basically what I did was I cut them in quarters, so four pieces. And then I just have a can of sliced olives black. And that's all I'm gonna do, just get ready and dump them all in the can. I purposely got the small size so I could just dump it. I drained it first though. Dump that. Let me dump, I should say scrape, everything off the cutting board, right in the water. And now really it's just our spices, so. I'm gonna put about one quarter teaspoon of basil and oregano. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and do generous sprinkles. And like I said, oregano, I'm gonna go maybe a little bit less because that's not my favorite. And a bay leaf, if you haven't used bay before, it's a hard leaf that you can, it's not edible. So you wanna put it in, it's great for soups and stews. It adds a really great flavor and a very Mediterranean flavor too. So. I'm gonna put this in and then you just remember to pull it out at the end so nobody eats that part. And that is as simple as it gets. Now all I'm gonna do is stir it. Just to make sure everything's wet. And add salt and pepper. Same thing, it's probably about a quarter of a teaspoon, but I rarely measure salt and pepper. I put a little and then I let people put their own on when they're done. And that's it. I'm gonna close it and cook it for about 25 minutes or follow the directions for whatever rice that you happen to buy.